Hey guys, uh, we just wanted to say sorry for the delayed vlog. It's been about a month since our last video. Sorry. Very sorry. This is for a few reasons. Um, firstly, the laptop sort of exploded um, after plugging in a hard drive. So we were able to get all the footage back. And um, We've had family and friends. I've had my old man and my stepmom over and uh, a couple of mates, Dado and Connor and a couple of other people over for the cricket. So we've been very busy probably drinking a little bit too much, but we're back now, the computer's fixed and we're on top of things. We are. So, yeah, apologies. Yeah, sorry about back. that. What happened in Montserrat, Russ? In Montserrat, we... Oh. How long were we there for? Two days. Where did we anchor? In Little Bay. And what did we do? Went on a tour. How was the tour? Shit. Alright, Montserrat, what'd we do? I don't feel comfortable in this position. Well, why don't you move? You want to sit like that? Yep. Well, we're going to have to put the camera on That's that fine. beer bottle and bring me the beer bottle. Montserrat? Montserrat, what happened? Oh, we can't use that joke, That's awful. That is very awful. In Montserrat, Alona woke me up in the morning and dragged me on this tour uh, with a nice couple we met on a boat next door to us. Uh, Tony and called, Rosemary. Tony and Rosemary. Yes, boat was called English Rose. And uh, yeah, we went on a tour of the island up to the volcano and all around this, all around the place. It was um, with this local man and he took us to his neighbourhood that he used to live in before the volcano erupted. And that erupted in 2005 at Sorry, 1995. <laughs> 1995 and 1997. 1997. In 1997, they actually had to evacuate half the island. This isn't funny. It's probably just made me laugh. Stop it. They had to evacuate half the island um, because an entire suburb got covered with ash and mud. Stop! Oh, I didn't do a thing. I can see you smiling. That's my moustache. No, it's not! Shivering. <laughs> That's like the hills have eyes. That is the hills have eyes. Uh -huh. all but Friday afternoon at 3, they announced on the radio that by 6 they want everybody out of the area. So they said, just pack a bag, it's just for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So we packed the bag, and it's the longest weekend of our life. <laughs> We're still waiting for Monday. Still waiting for Monday. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, we were allowed we were with police escort to come back and pick up a few things. Right. But nobody has moved, well, except the guy who was, he lives up here. He, he works and he looks after his animals and things. But nobody else has moved back. Yeah. <laughs> they are oh, awesome. They're really small. <laughs> 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 they are, sweetie. They're babies. Oh, in front of me. That looks like my um, stainless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the really cool thing about Montserrat was the little studio that was established by Sir George Martin, who was the manager of the Beatles. And some awesome bands went there like America, Lou Reed, uh, The Police, Dire Straits, Elton John, Eric Clapton, Rolling Stones, Ziggy Marley. Awesome. Yeah, all awesome. tiny little island. So all in Montserrat. We only saw the incredible stuff. The studios from like fifty meters away, but it was pretty cool to know that they'd all been there. So it felt like I was walking in there. For so did I. Grey building. That in the foreground. That's A Studios. That's the recording studio right down here in the foreground. Ah. That's where all that music was recorded. Ah. Drinking a coconut water. Headed to Guadeloupe. So we just left Montserrat this morning, which is behind us there. So, have you found us an anchorage yet, Alana? Still looking. Still looking? Yeah, we've got lots of options. Okay, so what happened? Um, the wind's coming from like directly where we wanted to go, Guadalupe, so we'll change course and we're headed to Antigua. Alright. Yeah. 
Antigua was a very important naval base back in the day. Um, the English Harbour Dockyard was completed in 1789 and was the main naval station in the Lesser Antilles. Uh, so I'm pretty much reading this, all of this stuff verbatim from Chris Doyle's Guide to the Leeward Islands, so I should, that should be noted. Um, Admiral Nelson used to hang out there, so that's really cool. I hope you'll like that. Uh, he was stationed there in 1784 under Sir Richard Hughes, who had recently blinded himself in one eye whilst chasing a cockroach with a fork. <laughs> So yeah, Nelson used to hang out there and the, um, the English Harbour Dockyard, they've done it up and it's meant to be really cool, so looking forward to going and checking that out. Hey, excuse me, are you a red or a green market boy? Oh, come on. So we anchored in Falmouth, is it Falmouth for us? Fal Fal Falmouth? Falmouth. What is it? I don't know. Neither. Um, we anchored in Falmouth and I found this really cool trail that went up this hill overlooking the little bay there and I ran that most mornings which was really cool and you could run to the other side to English Harbour so if you ever get to Antigua go check it out, it's pretty cool. A steel pan band plays up at Shirley Heights, which is the top of this mountain, overlooks uh, the English Harbour. And um, people go up there every Sunday and watch the sunset, and a steel pan band plays there. And I, I really wanted to go see because I used to play the steel pans in high school. Um, so that was really good, wasn't it? Did you Excellent. have fun? That was alright. Yeah? I had fun. It was good fun. And what else are we doing now? Oh, um, I found this. Oh, I had my birthday, but Alana didn't do anything for I it, so I made no him a sandwich. He said he didn't want anything. Don't you lie to the camera. Uh -huh. Think of the sunset. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> what are you reading? Uh, Don Delilio, Underworld. I think it is. Pretty good. It's good. I've only just started, but it, it's got. It'll be good. It doesn't have a choice. Cool. Sunset's pretty nice. Is it? Yeah. I'm gonna look at it up over there in a sec. All right. <laughs> Pulled up anchor and headed off to Green Island. What's going on, Riley? Just getting set up. I'm just tying off. We're going to take off this second reefing line to zip the Lazy Jack's bag up. So I've just got to remember to put it on each time. Not that we're going to need it today, but. Donkeys have layers. Go ahead. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. This is good. Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull him up. Thank you, Miss. Wait. Can you hold that, please? You want to get off already? Yeah. 
It's harder hey. than walking. You are the cutest donkey in the world. Thank you. you. Thank you. No, it's all right. Thanks, mate. That is just the most amazing donkey. Hey, thanks. What are you going to Look at him.